In this video, we're going to be working on the connector for the T9 Automoblocks project. And as you can see here, you can kind of take a look at all of the steps that I took to create this. I use the mirror tool a lot because this model is symmetrical. If you take a look in the binder and look at the connector page, I've provided you with a drawing. And for this one, I am going to walk you through it because there is a lot going on and we're using the mirror tool a lot so I'm gonna do this one with you but everything you should need should be in this drawing right here where you're provided a front a right side and a rear as well as the top and you'll notice in the note down here you're getting the material and it does say symmetrical the reason why that note is there is because you really can draw you know one piece of this and then mirror and then mirror and mirror because the whole thing is symmetrical and that note is also there so you don't have to put typical for all of the dimensions in here so that's the other reason why that note was added so let's go ahead and jump into this the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new part file and save it into your t9 automoblocks folder and you can call this one or this part connector so name it connector and let's take a look at the first thing that I did. The first thing that I did was I created that portion that you see here. And then after I made that, I mirrored it to the other side like you see there. And then I mirrored both of those down to create this whole entire front portion of the model. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into and create a new sketch on the front plane. So let's go ahead and do that. Start 2D sketch on the front plane. And we need to create a sketch that looks like this. So I'm going to zoom in here. What I would like you to do right now is pause the video and draw this out, add in all your dimensions, and make sure it's fully constrained. So go ahead and do that now. And I know my, mine isn't uh, purple. It's because I just copied it over from the one that I already had finished. But yours should be all purple, fully constrained. You can hit Finish Sketch. And then we can go ahead and extrude this. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude it in the other direction. And I'm going to go 0.47. Say OK. And then now I can mirror so I'm going to go mirror tool up top here in the pattern panel select my feature which is that and then I'm going to click on this mirror plane option so click there and I want to mirror across this face so I'm going to click there and you'll notice it gives me a preview which is exactly what I want so I'm going to say OK I'm going to do that again I'm going to use the mirror tool select this feature and this feature so click both of those Click on the mirror plane over here in the window. Shift in the mouse wheel to orbit underneath, and I'm going to click on this bottom face because I want to mirror it down like that. And then I'm going to say OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is make those rectangular cutouts that you see here. And we are provided with some information on those. They are square and they're 0.58. It's also giving you a depth here. And then we have two location dimensions right there and there. So let's go ahead and do a new sketch on this face. Let's draw our rectangle. And let's add in some dimensions. It's at a 0.48 square, so I'm going 0 0.48, 0 0.48. And then you need a dimension from here to here, which was 0.18. And then a dimension off the bottom, which was 0.1, which is given right here. And then I'm going to just draw a construction line up the middle here. Draw a line, change that to construction, hit escape, and then I'm just going to mirror this to the other side using that construction line. So I'm going to grab all that, dragging a box mirror, 
I'm going to click on mirror line right here, and then I'm going to click on this construction line is my mirror line. Hit apply, and boom, I got that on the other side. So now I can finish sketch and extrude, and I can cut those out. And we are going 0.47 for our depth. And I'm going to say OK. Go ahead and hit a save if you haven't saved in a while. And our next step is going to be cutting out. There's two little recessed rectangular shapes on that face and this face. So I'm going to start a new 2D sketch on there. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And then I'm going to add in two size dimensions and two location dimensions. And let's go see where we can get that information from. That was provided in the top view, so if you look right here, you have your 0.4 and 0.06 for your size dimensions, and then your 0.22 and your 0.04 for your location dimensions. So go ahead and add in those four dimensions. So just like that, and then go ahead and draw a construction line from your from this point right here, which is the middle, straight up, and then I want you to mirror this rectangle to the other side. So just like that, and I mirrored this to the other side, then I can finish the sketch, and now I can extrude that down. And the depth of that, uh, there was a note here that's telling you the depth of those two, which is 0 0.01. So I'm going to go extrude, click on those two, cut 0 0.01, and then those are done. And then next, if we take a look at mine, I did that. The next thing we're going to do is start to create this back uh, piece to the connector. And if you notice, I just drew one quarter of it, and then I mirrored down to the bottom, and then I mirrored over to the other side. So we're going to do that now. And for this sketch, we're going to want to orbit around to the back. So shift in the mouse wheel. Start a new sketch on this face. Watch your view cube. Make sure it's right side up. Make sure you can read this. If not, use those rotate arrows. And then <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and draw a sketch in this upper right quarter of the part. So let's go look at that sketch. That sketch, where was it? This one. So I'm going to expand that, go into it for you. Let me flip this around so we can see what I did. So there's the sketch that you need to create and draw. Now when I do this part, uh, and actually let's just go do this together. So this is going to be the same. That's going to be 1.15. So let's go here, start and draw a line from here. Let's say 1.15, enter. Then what do we got? We went up 0.39. And then I go over 0.85, which should line up perfectly with this, which it does. I'm going to stop there for a second. I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard. I'm going to come back over here and draw this line up and over. So I'm going to go line tool. I'm going to snap to my zero, zero there, go up. And then, whoops, I, I went a little too far. I snapped something wrong. I'm going to delete that line. Line tool there. Make sure I snap to that line, go straight over. Draw this, go straight down. Now when I draw this, I'm going to just square this off for right now. What I want to make sure though is that I see perpendicular and then I'm referencing this line right here. So you see the dotted line going vertically up. So I'm going to left click that so then now when I go to draw this one, <clears throat> it's perfectly aligned and I can just snap there. The last thing you'll want to do is add your fillet, which I believe was 0 .04, yep. So I'm going to go fill it, 0 0.04, click that line, click that line, close that out. 
And then I think I need one more fillet, which is point 0.1 right there. So I'm going to go fillet, point 0.1, click there, click there. And then now I'm good to go with that sketch, and now I can extrude. So I'm going to hit finish sketch. And let's see how far we got to extrude this thing. So again, we're extruding this and the depth dimensions are being provided over here in the right side view and if you look that distance is 0.5 so I'm gonna go back here whoops we're gonna go extrude uh, one second and I'm just gonna hover over that now I did just have to pause my video because I noticed that this wasn't becoming red and highlighted so I had to go back into the sketch and I actually ended up just redrawing this because I had an opening somewhere. If you have a if you have an opening in a sketch, it's going to uh it won't allow you to extrude it cuz it might be the, um, it's not a closed shape. So if you're having that issue if it's just if this is not being shaded red, it's just the outline gonna have to cancel go back into the sketch and I just honestly deleted mine and I redrew it and now it's working so I'm gonna click on that and I forgot what we said now we said we're gonna extrude at 0.5 that's right so I'm gonna go 0.5 I'm gonna say okay and now I'm just gonna do some mirroring so I'm gonna go mirror click on my feature change to the mirror plane over here in the window. I'm going to mirror on this face so I left click that and I say okay. Then I'm going to mirror again this one and this one so I'm going to click both of those. Change to mirror plane, click on this face, say okay and now I have that mirrored to the other side. If you haven't saved in a while please go ahead and save. And then the last thing we need to do for this is the cutout in the back of this. Now you can't even see it in the isometric, or, um, but you can see it in the 2D views. And it's being shown here with the hidden lines. Now normally you want to avoid dimensioning to hidden features, but really had no other choice for the depth dimension here without maybe doing a section view or something like that. So how big is that rectangle? Well, you're given size dimensions right here and right here. And then where is it located? Well, you're given a location dimension right here and right here. And then again, your depth is here. So let's go ahead and do this. And again, in case you're wondering, this is the cutout that I'm talking about. So we're going to orbit around. So shift in the mouse wheel, new 2D sketch on this face simply just going to draw out a rectangle and our sizes what do we got 1.62 by 0.31 so 1.62 tab 0.31 enter and then now I just need two location dimensions which are 0.24 and 0.34 so 0.34 off the left edge from here to here 0.34 and then 0.24 off the bottom and now I have a fully constrained sketch I can finish and then now I need to extrude cut the depth of that which is 0.33 so I'm going to extrude cut change the distance to 0.33 say OK hit the home button here Let's uh, do our materials. So we're going to go ABS plastic. You can pick a color that you'd like. Again, try not to go something dark. Just do a regular color, uh, maybe similar to what you did for that uh, other passenger piece that we did. I've been sticking with this uh, sky blue dark, but you can pick a different color if you'd like. Update your eye properties. Whoops. Eye properties, physical, and update. Close that save it screen clip it into your binder so you can get your progress points